when God said to, to Abraham, I want you to go to Mount Moriah. I'm going to show you the mountain that is going to be, become a mountain of pain. But that mountain of pain is going to be changed and transferred, transformed into a mountain of rain. R-E-I-G-N, rain. In other words, ruling and reigning. The place was pain. When, when Abraham went up that mountain, it was to sacrifice his son. Now think about it for a minute. It was a place of pain. How did he conquer that place of pain? How did he do it? He first of all obeyed God by going to the mountain. Then he sacrificed, gave his offering to God on that mountain. And that mountain became the place where God made his promise about Abraham's descendants, which today, my friend, speaks about you and I, the Christ people, the people of the royal blood, and the Jews in Israel. Think about what I'm saying. It all started by conquering that mountain. Abraham could have said, I'm not going to go to this mountain. Abraham could have said, there's no way I'm offering my son. This is too difficult a thing. But we did obey God and he went to that mountain and that mountain of pain became a mountain of, of rain. That mountain of sacrifice became a mountain of obedience. What I'm saying to you is, You've got to realize that this thing that's standing in your, way, in your way that seems to be demonic may be dynamic. It may be a dynamic that's going to take you to a greater place. Please listen to me. I'm looking at you. I'm not talking to a camera. I'm talking to human beings and human lives. I care for you. I pray for you every day. I want you to get the victory that I see. I want you to receive the abundance that I'm hearing. Just like Abraham, just like Elijah said, I hear the sound of an abundance of rain in the midst of a famine. That's when he said, it. He didn't say it when there was rain. He said it when there was famine. I'm saying to you when there's famine right now, I hear the sound of an abundance of rain.